Michael Kreese, of course, such a, a popular figure here at Brands Hatch. And here's evidence the crowd's already pouring in <laughs> already. You, you've got the most packed garage in the whole of the, the short circuit here. Yeah, I mean, I'm so lucky. We've got so many fans coming along and all my sponsors are here and it's my local uh, track and stuff. And, uh, you know, we've got a few hundred tickets we've sold already uh, for this weekend. So I'm blessed with that side of things. I've just got to try and do this side of things now to make them happy. <laughs> and the sun is shining as well. Such a special place, isn't it? Oh, I love it. I mean, uh, it, I just, it's only half hour down the road for me. I still come on a Wednesday, do you know what I mean? I still soak up all of, all of it. And, you know, it's such a tricky little track, this one. And, and then we, we, we're lucky enough to come back and do the GP as well, which is a great circuit. But they're both really different and, uh, and it's really cool that we've got, we're here twice, so it's good. And the weird thing is we haven't seen you here for, what, the best part of 18 months, I suppose? Yeah, I know, I've been off doing uh, what you used to do. <laughs> and, uh, but no, it's been good. I mean, I learned a lot from doing the Porsches and having that big stage and uh, the best drivers in the world, the best teams in the world. And, and then you sort of come back here and, uh, and then you sort of got to take it by the scruff of the neck. And I was just saying to Paul yesterday, like, it's weird because I've always had uh, a number one driver like Josh Cook or, or, you know, in 2019 we had Jack Goff and I always had someone to learn off. Um, but now I've sort of had to try and work with Ash. It's his first year as well. I mean, he's a quick lad and he's going to be there, but it, 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 at the minute it's very difficult to try and take a winning team as a, as a number one driver, do you know what I mean? Or, you know, or we're sharing uh, the spoils. but. It's, it's, it's a challenge and I think I'm coming of age now and I think it's my third year in touring cars. So, you know, I'm, I'm relishing the uh, opportunity. And Donington was always going to be an early part of that learning curve with this car, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, we, we had a good car. Um, it was very different from the Honda uh, that I drove and I had to get used to that quite, quite quickly. Um, but the M Sport engine was new. Um, and I don't think we were quite there on power, which the boys are working really hard at M Sport to, to get us back to where we were. So I think realistically, we would only probably been top 10 as the number one M Sport car anyway, and we come 14th, so, and I got stuck with a bit of traffic and stuff. So I come away with a really positive weekend, and I actually think that was probably one of my best weekends in touring car. Yeah. So. so targets for this weekend, top 10 for sure. Well, yeah, that was it. I mean, I struggled a little bit there in FP1. We we, we sort of had a bit of a, a baseline setup, and uh, with a new tarmac here, it's really different. It sort of changed the characteristics of the car. Um, hybrid wasn't working um, that session. I don't know if there was a beacon or something not quite right with our car, or if it was all the cars. Um, but yeah, I, I, we've got we've got to nudge it in the right direction, and um, you know I'm hopefully to be there with race three, maybe in the reverse grid somewhere, and maybe stick it on pole in front of all the people in the box down there would be quite good. <laughs> we'll sort you out in the reverse grid draw. Yeah, we can. You heat that ball up extra for yeah, me. <laughs> Have a great weekend. Cheers. Guys, Cheers.